guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am sharing something that i didn't really think i'd be talking about or really making a decision but we've decided to stop using the good and the beautiful's homeschool curriculum and so i just kind of wanted to talk about it in its own video because um it's not meant to be negative, but I just thought I would share our experience and explain why we're no longer using it. All right, so I want to just start off and say this video is not meant to be negative or anything. We did enjoy using the good and the beautiful, and I'll explain that. Um, but um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley. I'm homeschooling three kids. I have a fourth grader, a second grader, and a preschooler. And I have now used um, four levels of the good and the beautiful. I've used four levels of language arts, four levels of math, um, their history unit, their like year one of that, their science units, and their preschool units. So um, I've, I've used a lot of their curriculum. And What's interesting is I actually made a video a year ago where I changed all of our curriculum to the good and the beautiful, like officially. And so um, it's kind of weird making this video now and it's something that I, I've thought about and I, I've gone back and forth, but I, I do think that the decision is, is happening and we're no longer going to be using this curriculum. So let's talk about it, right? So my oldest daughter um, started homeschooling her third grade year. So she used level three from The Good and the Beautiful. So she was using um, their math three, their language arts three, and now this coming school year, she started with level four in math and level four language arts, where then my second grader now started in first grade. So she's used level one, she's on level two for both math and language arts, and then my son is using preschool. So because we kind of jumped into the curriculum, here's the good part and here's why it worked and here's why I think it works for so many families. And this is where I think if you're new to homeschooling, it is actually a really great curriculum to start with. Um, when I started homeschooling, I was still working out of the home. So I physically left my home to go to work. And so the good and the beautiful, the lessons are shorter. The te uh, you know, it does have parent involvement, but it, it's basically open and go, right? You read the lesson to your kid, they do the lesson, that's about it. So it was very manageable for me. Being new to homeschooling, it was very un overwhelming. It, it just simplified everything. It was beautiful. And that's what you'll hear. You'll hear everyone tell you how beautiful the course books are. That is not... That's true, that is like the biggest truth. They are the prettiest curriculum books I have ever seen in my life. Um, they are pretty much open and go, specifically like language arts and math. They're pretty easy to do. The parent portion I don't feel is super heavy involved. Like they, they worked for us. We needed that curriculum. It built our confidence as homeschoolers. It got us into like a really good routine. Um, I think it built really good foundational skills for my kids. So um, that's why I, I don't want to say like I regret using it. I'm, I feel like we needed to use it. It had a really great purpose, especially like that first year homeschooling. Um, however, now that I'm more confident as a homeschool parent, obviously you guys, I'm on YouTube. I get lots of curriculum. I get to review a lot of curriculum. I have tons of friends that use homeschool stuff. And so now, now I know what I'm looking for. And now I'm, I know what we need and I know what each of my kids needs and I, I'm looking long-term. That first time I'm like, I just need to get through this. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. I, this is like too much work. And so that curriculum took all of that stress off of me and just made it so easy to just homeschool. And that's what we needed. But now I'm looking long term. We're confident. We're in a flow. Like I know what's going on. I'm planning out years. I'm planning out high school years. And you know, dual enrollment for college and, and there's math courses that are needed for that. And there's, there's a certain path I want my kids to be on. And that might not be everyone. That's me. I'm, I'm a planner. I am that, that type A, like I need to know what's happening. Um, so 
I already made one update video because I already I made the change in the beginning of our homeschool year for math specifically for my oldest daughter. Um, she there was too much fluff in her math four even in math three I saw it at the end of math three we were skipping a lot of the games it was taking her too long because it was too distracting all the extra stuff she is very give me the problem and I will solve it she doesn't want to read a story she doesn't care about the characters in math she just wants to do the problem and so that decision was more based on her um, needing a different curriculum just for her. And in that research, we found Saxon Math, which I absolutely love it. I know I haven't done an update video on it, but I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. It's not beautiful, though. It is black and white math. I'm just going to throw that out there. So if you're looking for all the arts and colors, don't switch. That was the best change in homeschool curriculum I've ever made. I change stuff all the time. That has to be the best decision I made to change her math. Um, so with doing that and then feeling like, okay, you must, you know your kids now, right? Like you know what's going on in your homeschool, you know your kids. All right, let's see what else is going on. So her math was taken care of. We've been struggling with language arts for because it had that separate spelling and writing book. I'm just gonna say it, the level four like lessons themselves in the book are like, honestly they're pointless to me like I don't feel like she's learning anything the writing lessons are okay the spelling lessons they, they were just not working so we've tr we've stopped using their spelling and writing and we've used other resources which are working much better and I just feel like doing the actual lessons is a waste of time except when they're a geography or art lesson the geography lessons are actually pretty great and the art lessons are actually pretty great but I I need a language arts program especially for my kid who's getting older she's going into fifth grade she's going into middle school there are skills I want her to start learning I want her to be a good writer I want her to be good in grammar and I just feel like it's not it's just not being presented correctly to her it's I don't know so um that one is kind of easy to make right I'm like we're already like not using it we're already supplementing it so we know that this just isn't working well, let's move on to my second grader. So, so, and sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I feel like I have so many thoughts to like share. Now too, that I've also seen, okay, well maybe it's because my kids didn't use their first levels, right? So maybe because they didn't use level one and two, maybe level three and level four aren't working. And I'm like, okay, but now I get to see, I've seen level one, level two, level three and level four, and I can see the change in them it doesn't matter. So knowing that too, like it wasn't because we didn't do the other levels or their the levels aren't getting better. Um, we'll go to my second grader, right? She's super easygoing, super loves doing her school lessons. Um, and I will say, I don't want to say she's advanced, but she is, she doesn't struggle with math or reading or language arts. She just doesn't she can do she's doing two math lessons a day I mean she's almost done with her math two book and she's bored and she's not learning anything um and so and it's not like she does anything extra for math it's just I don't know what it is and that's different right that's not my my older daughter it's not that she was getting multiple lessons done it's that she couldn't get through a lesson because there was too much fluff and so it's so weird to me to like kind of like navigate between these differences. Um, and then in language arts, it's the same thing. Like I feel like she's over the phonics stuff. She reads really well. And I feel like we're not getting into grammar and writing enough for what I want and what level they're at. And because I'm like, well, maybe I should bump her up to level three. Well, I know what level three is and then that's not any better. So that's where I'm like, okay, this isn't working. Like, we, we have to stop using this curriculum because it's, it's driving me crazy. And when I did change, when I changed that math curriculum and there was something better and there, there is something that works, I know I can find that for these other subjects as well. All right, so um, there's that. There's, we're done. We're done using it. Well, I'll say we're done lightly. So obviously we've already changed math for my fourth grader. She has switched to Saxon 5-4 and it is nothing but fabulous. And I've already bought 6-5 for next year. And I promise I'll do update videos, but that has been like just perfect. Um, 
I did, so my second grader, like I mentioned, and I'm gonna do this in her update video, so I have my second grade update video. It could be out before this video or after. Just look on my channel or comment and I'll let you know when it's coming out. Um, I, I'm debating, right? Like, she's almost done with the Good and Beautiful level two. Like, we're just gonna finish it out because she only has like 20, 30 lessons. It's gonna take her a month to get through those. Do I buy math three? Or no, like we're done. We're not using the good and the beautiful anymore. So like, what am, what am I supposed to do? So I, I'm debating what to do. Um, I think I've decided she is switching to Saxon three for third grade. Um, I don't wanna start it yet this year because I just want her to start fresh next school year using Nicole the math lady. So um, I'm, I'm in that weird, like, are we just gonna finish math too? Cause there's not that many lessons left and we're gonna supplement. I have some other new math tools I'm gonna be using with her that I'll share in that video. So yeah, we're changing it. <laughs> um, language arts, um, they're both like halfway through their language arts books. And I, and I hate saying this, but it's like almost to me, it's like busy, pointless work. I don't think they're learning anything from it. So... I don't know. I haven't made that decision yet. We're still like on our holiday break. So like I'm going to have to make a decision when we go back to like school if we're going to keep using them. But I, I think we're done. I think we're done using the good and the beautiful language arts. Um, we're also done for my preschooler. I was trying out their preschool. It's just not working. They're... Um, I said it in his update video too, the songs and the videos just aren't capturing him. They may capture some kids. I'm not saying they're bad, it's just not capturing him. And so when the lessons repeatedly want you to listen to the song, which is important for kids that little, they should be memorizing little songs and stuff, but when he doesn't enjoy them, it's making that curriculum really hard to get through. So there's all that. Um, I've already shared a video of, like last year on why we didn't like their history. Um, they discontinued it. If that tells you guys anything, I don't think I was the only one who didn't enjoy it. Uh, their science units are okay. I think they're better now that they redid them, like the structure of them. I had a couple, I actually gave them away um, just because we've had so many other unit studies. So um, I don't think they're bad. We may do one in the future. I may look at their history when it comes back out. I'm not saying we're never going to use them again. I just know for like these core subjects like language arts um, and math and like my preschooler, this is not the curriculum we're going to use. We are looking at other avenues. Um, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. That's where I'm at. So I felt like you guys needed that explanation. Um, again, I think it served a purpose for us and it got us to where we are today and I'm thankful for that. It, it did teach my kids something, it taught me something, it got us in a really good homeschool flow to be able now to branch out and try what things do and don't work. Uh, so yeah, so you know, you could be listening to my video update next year and I'm like, guys, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm going back. but. I think I've given it enough thought and we've tried enough levels to where like after four levels of the same curriculum, like four consecutive years, like I feel very confident, like it's just not working in our homeschool for any of my kids. Like, and it's different reasons it's not working. And so that's what's really eye opening. I thought it was like a specific kid having issues. And now I'm like, well, this kid's having different issues, but it's still because of the same curriculum. So I don't know. So anyways, so that's this video. Man, do I have some updates though. So obviously with that, I'm not just like throwing language arts out the window, right? Like, so I have tons of more videos coming out to share with you guys what we're gonna be switching to um, this remaining school year, as well as, you know, thoughts for next year. I don't have, and I'm just gonna be very honest, I don't know, I don't know what the perfect one is. I have pile sitting next to me over here of like 30 different curriculums. That's exaggeration. There's probably like five, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying it out and we're going to see what works best for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So I know that you guys like the content I am creating as well as if you're not already hit that subscribe button. Cause like I said, I have all these videos with all these updates. I would hate for you to miss out. Have a wonderful day, guys, and we will chat soon. Bye.